Hey, what's going on everybody? This is, uh, I don't think I've done a video on this page, uh, on our missing anchor page like this in a, ever actually, uh, but just leaving a gym. And uh, the last couple days, I've been kind of thinking about how I want to proceed uh, with putting out content for the missing anchor. Uh, Cause what's going on is, you know, even on my personal pages, I'm sharing a lot about fatherhood and then stuff on here. So what I'm thinking about doing is just letting this missing anchor page just pretty much be everything it was intended to be, plus uh, a journal of what I do, what I go through as a father. So I'm thinking about bringing all that content right here, but that's not actually what this video is about. Um, now that I'm doing this, I'm like, do I really want to share this? But it's nothing really wrong with it. But last night I had a, a very weird series of dreams. And um, my son, you know, I'm up late. I'm I'm up late working a lot, and so a lot of times, you know, I end up crashing all over the house in different places, just depending on where I'm working. And my son, uh, Clark, he has this thing where he wants to sleep wherever he thinks I'm going to end up. So last night, um, I actually crashed in his room. His room is directly across from my office, and all throughout the night there were two things that was going on one he kept almost like talking in his sleep and it kept waking me up um and and then i kept having this weird dream and i'm real careful about what i really put out um and what i what i say out of my mouth and different things like that but i'm just sharing it here because it's, it's a point to this message um i had this weird dream you know i have a son and a daughter and i had this weird dream that Clark wasn't here anymore. There's something that happened to him and he I'm not even going to say the word. He just wasn't here anymore. And I remember feeling this real sense of like pain. And this is why I was sleeping. Like it's amazing how the mind works even your subconscious mind when you're sleeping that thing felt so real but here's the weird thing it kept happening like i know it happened about three or four times during the night where you know he would talk in the sleep or something like that and when i would go back to sleep i would have this weird dream and all i can remember was feeling like this pain this emptiness and even to the point when they had the quote-unquote services or whatever I didn't make it like something was I don't know what I was doing but I just remember talking to people in a dream and telling them like I can't believe I missed it you know my boy is gone and yada 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 so man I woke up this morning with this just this renewed sense of wanting to be around him wanting to tell him that I love him and for those that know me you guys know I do that every day but it was something different about last night. No, I don't think anything's gonna happen, but I think it was like a, maybe a wake up call. I don't know if I, there were some things that I just been taking for granted. I don't know, but man, it was like the weirdest thing. I've never had that experience before. I mean, you kind of dream things sometimes, but I mean, it's almost like my senses thought it was like 100% real. And I, every time I would just wake up, I would just kind of look at them like you all right and then you know i will try to fall back asleep and you know like i said it happened a couple of times but guys i'm just so grateful um as a dad to have children and to um you know just be there for them and 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 share with them and be with them every day you know despite you know even as an entrepreneur you know trying to make things work and figure things out you know um sometimes people say it's, it's the harder path why don't you do something easier you know because everything you know financially will be figured out for you all the time but guys there's nothing that's going to be able to replace the time that i'm able to spend with them and i'm just grateful for it um you know during the summer the last couple of years you know i've had both of my kids at home with me during the summer because i work from the house and uh it's there's been some scheduling things and sometimes it's tough you know, because I can't get some of the things I want to get done. Sometimes I got to do video content. I can't really get it done. and But I just wouldn't trade it for anything because I believe that them spending that time, that's what they're going to remember 
going forward. It's made me actually have to become more consistent with setting my schedule um, and, and so many different things, guys. But I, I'm just happy, you know, that I'm able to be there for them. And I just want to, again, encourage fathers, don't overlook your children. Don't take for granted anything. You know, tomorrow things could change at the drop of a dime. And the one thing, and maybe that was the point of what was going on with me last night. The one thing you don't want is to have a life of regret. You want to make sure that you're possibly pouring into your kids at, at every possible time. Um, so they know how much you care, how much you love them, how much you're there for them. And, and definitely you have to earn a living. You have to be a provider, but never sacrifice um, the time that you're going to have with your family. I hope this message helped someone today. Um, you know, like I said, I didn't even know I was going to really share this. I talked to Kelly about it this morning. It was really, like I said, I'm really careful about what I put out in the atmosphere. So I didn't really know how much detail I wanted to say about what happened, but I believe that there is a, a message, um, behind that. And that message is just, you know, for moms and dads, but you know, how we are at the missing anchor we really put an emphasis on fathers and, and being there for your children so for all you fathers out there fathers stepfathers father figures if you have a child in your life never take those moments for granted always make sure that you're doing everything possible um to be there for them and every waking moment of their life all right i hope everybody has an amazing day i'll check with you soon god bless